what I want to talk to you about is um, an attitude, a mentality, and in particular, a lion's mentality. Now, we know the lion to be, you know, the king of the jungle. Um, they, they live in um, savannas. They don't even live in jungles anymore. But, you know, a lion is kind of the cream of the crop. It's the apex predator. This, this story comes from numbers. So I'll give you background to this. What we have is we have a situation where uh, Moses has led the Israelites out of Egypt and they're looking to go into the promised land. Okay, And so we have this happen. They send out 12 spies. So there's 12 spies. Guys, you guys go ahead, have a look at what, what is ahead of us and bring us a report back. So they're looking to conquer their promised land. And this is what the 10, so we've got to divide. We've got 10 on one side and we've got two on the other. And the 10 say this, and they spread amongst the Israelites a bad report about the land that they had explored. They said, the land that we explored devours those living in it. All the people we saw there are a great size. We saw uh, the Nephilim there, the descendants of Anak came from Nephilim. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes. And we look the same to them. I just want to dissect that for you. And I want you, first of all, I want you to have a look at what's happening in this text. It's a, it's, this is not a, I, I wouldn't say it's not a good attitude. I think there's a lot of assumptions in that text. There's a lot of um, what ifs. There's a lot of fear. There's uncertainty. When you read that text, it's clear that these 10 individuals, they are fearful of what lies ahead. They, are, they have made assumptions. Who told them? Who told them that the opposition or that, that the, people, the inhabitants looked at them as grasshoppers? Who told them? They, they, they're the ones making the assumption. Oh, and I hear this sometimes, you know, when, when we're in year seven, when we come through year 12, uh, you know, you go through high school. Oh, that's just too hard. Oh, that exam, it's just, I just can't do it. Oh, it's just you know, I can't get through this online lesson, lockdowns. Too. And it's that attitude. It's that mentality. It's quite common. When you think about this, when you think about this, we've got 12 individuals. There's 12 individuals and the majority, 10. I don't do methods, so I don't know the percentage on that. But 10 individuals have got this attitude, this common mentality of it's, the mountain is too big. We cannot climb it. We cannot go forth and inhabit. Now, what's interesting is this. Before they get to this point, okay, the Israelites have literally been enslaved. They were in Egypt, okay? They were, they were in Egypt for 436 years. So they've had a slave mentality for 436 years. They have been dictated to. They have been told how to go about their life. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's a little bit of freedom. And they've still got the same slave mentality that they had in Egypt. Now, I was also reading on Tuesday, which is coming up tomorrow, Australia will bypass Buenos Aires, Buenos Aires in Argentina as the most locked down city on this planet. That means that no major city on this earth has had to do hard lockdowns more than Melbourne. Off memory, I think it was 236 days. And by the time we're scheduled to begin to release and ease restrictions at the end of October, it's going to be 260 odd days. It's unprecedented time. And there are some of us. I did a survey with my year 10s. Some of you might be watching. I did a survey with the year 10s, and I'm sure if I did it across the whole school, it would have been similar. There was fatigue. There was a, the morale was low. The energy levels are low. And the, and the going gets hard, and it looks like it's hard to achieve. Um, and so what, I, what I'm saying is we've got a, we've got a, we're in a tunnel. We're in a dark tunnel, and we know that the exit is the next left. We're nearly there. So you're nearly at the end of this tunnel. And what I say to you guys is, Make sure that whatever mentality was developed, whatever hardships that you guys endured over this lockdown, as you begin to come out, if there's any year 12s, seeing your gap tomorrow, you're coming back to face-to-face -to -face this week, you've got to come out 
and approach life with a different mentality. So what's this mentality? We have the mentality of Joshua and Caleb, and they say this, then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, we should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. This is the key here. Because, but be, this is God speaking to Moses. But because my servant Caleb has a different spirit, a different attitude, a different approach to online learning, a different way of seeing the world and follows me wholeheartedly, whose intentions are pure, who puts their best foot forward, who fails in an attempt to try and succeed, but that's okay. But because he walks to a different spirit and follows me wholeheartedly, I will bring him into the land. He went and his descendants will inherit it. The lion is regarded as the king of the jungle. If it was to take a gore from a, from a buffalo, if it was to get stomped on by a herd of elephants or one elephant, if it was to get kicked by a giraffe, I guarantee the king of the jungle would not last very long. So what is it? What is it about the lion? What is it about the lion that reigns supreme in the animal kingdom? What is it? And honestly, I just reckon it's this. And I reckon it's something that we can learn from. It's an attitude. It's a mentality thing, okay? The law of nature. The law of nature says that only the strong survive. And how do you get strong? How do you equip yourself for, for a life, an optimistic life, a good life? I think for many of us, the job is to get to 100 if we can, to live to 100 and live happy. That doesn't mean ups and downs don't come. Some of you guys never expected your VCE to be online year 11 and year 12 for those 12s leaving this year. Last year's year 12 never expected the first year of university to look what it looks like. Some of you year six, uh, sevens were year sixes last year and your graduation was not what you had envisioned and all of a sudden this high school thing doesn't make sense. There's some of you that have gone through the year nine program and you're on the cusp of VCE and you still, you know, it wasn't supposed to be this way. Some of you are in the year nine program now and we still don't know if we're going to Bogong or not. Some of you year 11s have had your trip cancelled this year. A lot of us have lost stuff this year. But the difference here is how, how do you bounce back? How do you have this? The odds are in your favour. The world, the world is saying, the media, the world is saying to us, this lockdown is too hard. It's not fair. And it's so easy to fall into that mentality, the, the majority where the majority of people say, it's just too hard. On the other hand, God is saying to, the same God that speaks to the people in the Bible, it's the same God that's speaking to you guys today. It's the same God that says, listen, yeah, so what? You're going through a pandemic. They went through a pandemic with the Spanish flu 100 odd years ago. Okay, the, the Israelites were in, in, in slavery for 436 years. Earthquakes will come, earthquakes will go. Okay, but the same God that was, is, and always will be is with you guys. And just think about how we go about that. It's, 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 no, it's no coincidence. When you look at the Bible in Revelation, at the end of the Bible in Revelation, God himself, he calls himself the, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Okay, he, he inherits it. He says, the lion of the tribe of Judah. And then on the other side in Genesis, he also relates himself to the lion of the tribe of Judah. Now, of all the animals that God could have picked, it's no coincidence that he picked the lion. And I just, I, I really just want you guys to, and I, I know a lot of you, I've been here for a couple of years, coming up my second year now, and I just think, I just think, look, if we just develop, if we just let go of the things of the past, if we just let go of this, um, you know, like the Israelites had this slave mentality and just approach things. The Bible says here, it says, Caleb had a different spirit. He had a different attitude. He walked to, a, to the beat of a different drum. He did things differently. I'm sure, I'm sure that he, he here's another, I'll sidetrack here. Of that generation, of that generation, you had 12 spies to go and look at the promised land. How many, how many of that generation actually made it 
to the promised land. Okay, so here's my hand. This is the generation. How many of you think actually made it into the promised land? The, the answer is two. There was only two. We're talking about thousands, potentially, probably millions, I would say. And of all of the millions of people, listen to me, the millions of people, only two. There was only two that made it into the promised land. And it's the same two that God is saying they walk to a different spirit. They hear my voice. They understand my promises. It it might not feel like I'm with them. But... They understand that I am, even though he doesn't feel it, okay? You, in our life, in life, in life, we are going to have to make decisions. And I'm telling you, one of the worst things, one of the worst, and I've learned this the hard way, one of the worst things you will do is make an emotional decision. Now, I, I'm not an expert biologist, but I would like to think that the lion makes logical decisions, Okay, if you are led by your emotions, lockdown is hard. 230 odd years, uh, uh, years, not years, days in lockdown in Melbourne. That's not an easy thing to go through. Some of you guys would have graduated school 200 times if that was the case. But what I'm saying is the lockdown is hard. And you just have to be a, like a lion doesn't always succeed. Okay, I was actually watching footage of lions the other week. A lion isn't always going to succeed. Okay, there are times when a lion will go and attack an elephant and it might not kill it. But it has the ability, like courage. I think the reasons that the lion is probably considered the king for me is because it has an ability to move forward without fear. Now, God God says these two boys walk to a different spirit. They have a different spirit. It doesn't necessarily mean that they didn't have fear. It doesn't mean that they didn't have bouts of depression. It doesn't mean that they didn't have negative thoughts. It doesn't mean that they they weren't human. It just says that despite, despite all of that, they still followed, they still followed him wholeheartedly. And so I just want you guys to consider, it's been a tough year. It's been a tough year and a half. And the likes, what you guys have experienced, you probably never will again. But what you can learn, what you can learn from it, what you can take from it is massive. All right? And just, just, I just wanted you guys to take that message on board, okay? Have this attitude. Have this I can attitude. It's not a life is perfect. I'm going to blitz my exams. I'm going to do all my online lessons. I'm going to live the dream. It's not that. It's the ability to push forward when you don't feel like it. It's the ability to make logical decisions. Now, for, the, for a Christian person, make those logical decisions based on the promises of God. And I think if some of you look back, If some of you look back at your time, okay, you'll probably see moments in your life where God has led you from and he has helped you out. And you've got chaplains here at the school, okay, um, that I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you dissect that and understand that. Some of you guys might be having questions about, yeah, I'm hearing what you're saying, Mr. Morales, but it uh, it doesn't click, it doesn't make sense. Well, you've got your chaplains here. Speak to them. And, and I'm just, just pragmatically speaking, just from a logical perspective, okay? If you are, if you are feeling a little bit low, if this lockdown has starting to take its toll on you, okay, I would strongly encourage you to go to the Bible because if anything, if anything, it's going to give you the basics, the fundamentals to be able to do life to have a successful life with or without a lockdown. All right, so I just wanted to leave you with that and just just to think, just really, really think, okay? As you're coming through, as you move into year eight, year nine, year 10, as some of you go on to university next year, okay? What, how, how, how do you separate yourself? How do you separate yourself from other people? How do you go on to have a great life? I'm sure there's a lot, well, I'm sure some of you, if not all of you, would know Kobe Bryant. And 
We love to put Michael Jordan and we love to put LeBron James and Kobe Bryant on this pedestal. We love to do it. I've seen some of you guys out here at recess. Oh, Michael Jordan, lights out. Yet, what is it? What is it about these individuals? Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, all these sports, are, you know, all these people, what is it about them? It's that mentality. Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant was legendary and he will it'll be immortal for the fact that he had this mamba mentality. He had this mentality of never say die. He had this attitude of just go for it. And we like that. We like to read those stories and we like to watch these athletes and we like to be spectators. I'm telling you, maybe don't be a spectator and start adopting that same, that same attitude, that same mentality of a lion. Hey, I hope you really loved that inspirational message. If you liked it, make sure you click the bell, subscribe so that you get notified next time we post one of these great inspirational talks. Go, go, no, that's terrible. Okay, here we go.